sometimes you put together uh, an idea, you know, you put together a plan with your team, and you think that uh, if we can execute some of this plan, we'll be we'll be in pretty good shape. We'll give ourselves a chance to win. Um, and every once in a while, you know, it kind of comes out um, exactly how how you imagined it it, it could come out. Um, you know, we knew we knew that <clears throat> defensively we we needed to play really really well, and and it was even better than I imagined. And obviously, you know, when when a score is like that, you need help from the other team, and I think they missed a lot of shots that they normally make which that's what happens sometimes, you know? Um, but the way we, you know, the way we carried each other uh, was probably the most impressive thing for me is that um, we, we, we relied on, on, on each other so much. Obviously, Paige, you know, did Paige things, but everybody, um, T today was really a team, um, a team triumph. It really, really was. It was, it was pretty special to be a part of that. I wish this was tomorrow. I wish today was Monday. Unfortunately, it's not. Paige, first of all, was it your decision to jump <laughs> and you turned to the team and, and flexed? I mean, was that what was going on there? It was sort of a discussion. It wasn't long. I was going to win that discussion, but. I was, once we found out Leah wasn't playing, it was either me or Ice, and I was like, yeah, I got it. Uh, my mindset really was, I was focused on rebounding. Um, with Aaliyah out, that's a huge piece that we're missing. Um, Aaliyah grabs every single rebound um, that comes off the rim. I mean, just leading the, com the communication with our group, um, I thought me and Ice did a really good job of talking on the switches, on when to guard who in the post, um, try to keep her inside as much, um, and try to keep me outside. Um, but just communicating, leading by example, leading by passion, leading by the energy that I, I played with, um, and just leave it all on the floor. Um, we know what we don't have, but we didn't want to focus on that. We wanted to focus who was on the floor, um, and we were confident in anybody that we put out there. Um, so just rebounding um, and communicating was the focus. Paige, uh, the way you guys came out, uh, very aggressive, very disruptive, even though you couldn't afford to get in foul trouble. It seems like you put them back on their heels right away and that they never really recovered from that. Is that what you guys what you guys were trying to do, knowing, knowing your position, to, to try to get that, kind of jump them a little bit? Yeah, we wanted to start the game aggressive, sort of set the tone of what the rest of the game looked like, but we talked about it um, in the huddle leading up to the game in the locker room of just how focused and locked in we were going to have to be, um, especially, like you said, uh, defensively not getting into foul trouble, but also wanting to disrupt their offense and, and what they do in their flow. Um, so I thought just starting the game out like that, sort of setting the tone, um, I thought we did a great job of that, um, balancing being aggressive and being smart at the same time.